Somebody asked me to discuss my dry fire routine, so I'm gonna quickly cover that. My name is Jason Hansen. I'm a former CIA officer, and I carry a gun daily because I live in the gun-friendly state of Utah, so I can pretty much carry anything I want, which is awesome, which is why I live in Utah. Please welcome back former CIA officer Jason Hansen. Former CIA Jason Hansen. This handsome fella is Jason Hansen. Okay. This is Jason Hansen, former CIA guy. Now, as far as dry fire practice, I do 25 dry fire trigger pulls a day. I do it with the guns I carry. This is a six hour P365, one of the guns I carry in my front pocket quite often. I do it with my Springfield 1911, my Walther Creed, my Walther BBQ, my six hour P250, my six hour P226. Not all on the same day, and those are of course not all the guns I own, I own a lot more than that. I vary it out, meaning I'm not obviously doing 25 dry fire trigger pulls per gun per day. I pick one gun for the day. Let's say it's the six hour P365 that I have right now and I do 25 smooth dry fire trigger pulls. I make sure I have a safe and empty backstop, which I do right now, meaning I know if that bullet goes, it's gonna go into a berm, it's not gonna go into your mother-in-law's room, it's not gonna go into a kid's room or anything like that. Of course, you still double check, make sure you have a safe and empty weapon, and then I'm gonna move this guy a little out of your view just so you can see my draw stroke more but when I'm doing this all I'm doing is coming out super super slow making sure I have my firm grip I'm doing a good smooth pull I'm making sure that I get that second follow-up meaning I'm getting I'm making sure that I can see the sights again because in real life they're obviously gonna bounce for this gun I have to reset the trigger and then I'm coming out sitting right here boom I do this very, very slowly. 25 trigger pulls very slowly because you can't miss fast enough. So sometimes I get people are going like ninja fast when I'm doing consulting and training them. You wanna build that muscle memory. I have been in instances in my life where I had to drop my firearm. Thank heavens, never have ever had to pull the trigger and I pray that I don't. But I built that muscle memory so I didn't have to think, wait a minute, what am I supposed to? It was automatic, meaning gun in pocket or gun on a hip, wherever I was carrying, come out. And then, as I said, in those instances, I didn't have to fire, but I do pa I always practice firing because you never know. Obviously, it's a good thing when somebody sees the wrong end of a gun that they stop doing what they're doing, but a lot of criminals are idiots and they don't. So I'll come in again and I'll sit here and a good smooth trigger pull. I happen to be right-handed and left-eye dominant. What does that mean? Nothing really, it's not a big deal. Some people freak out and say, oh, you gotta shoot with a different hand or you gotta learn how to you know, shoot left-handed or how, how to uh, shoot with your right eye open. All that's nonsense. All you've gotta do, and I'm gonna come out and show you, is slightly turn your head. So if you're looking at me right now, I slightly turn my head, as you can see, to the right because I'm left eye dominant and I still need to line up those sights. It is not gonna affect you. Meaning your accuracy is still gonna be pretty darn good as long as you practice this and you don't have to worry about being the world's worst shot or anything because you're right-handed and left-eye dominant because again, that's not true. Just turn your head like this. 25 nice dry fire trigger pulls. Now, if you want to do something a little different, do the wall drill. Wall drill is simply stand about an inch away from the wall right here. You're coming out, pick a spot. So I see a little pock mark there. I'm coming out. And again, very, very smooth. And I wanna make sure that my front sight doesn't move. Because if my front sight moves, well, that means I'm jerking the trigger. I'm not pulling it straight back. Do it again, come out here. I will tell you with ammo prices skyrocketing, with ammo hard to find, with when you go into a gun store and you're only allowed to buy one or two boxes at a time, dry fire practice is incredibly important. I do it five days a week, let's say six, I used to do it six days a week, but now I do it five days a week, 25 dry fire trigger pulls a day. And there've been times where I've been traveling overseas and I haven't been able to shoot that often. And even when I come back and go to the range, if you dry fire consistently, you will be good to go. So I know guys, and again, I wouldn't recommend going this far, but I know guys who dry fire and go to the range once a year and they still are incredibly accurate. Now, I try and go to the range, I used to go every week, but I'm just so busy with work and traveling that I go every month uh, at least. But even if you only go to the range once a month, as long as you dry fire every single day, you will still be accurate if, heaven forbid, 
you hear your front door getting kicked in at 3 a.m. one day, you will have no problem grabbing the gun on your nightstand, grabbing your flashlight, or if your gun has a surefire light or a Phoenix or no light on the bottom of it, you'll have no problem being accurate and building that muscle memory. So dry fire, dry fire, dry fire. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on that ring notification. Have a wonderful rest of the day. I am former CIA officer Jason Hansen. Let me know what questions you have and how I can help you.